Growing up, I was the happiest kid. I loved to laugh. I loved to play. I loved being a kid. I never overstepped my boundaries. I respected my elders. I loved my family. It was me, my big brother, two little sisters, and my big cousin, and my mom. My mom and my dad broke up when I was like three years old, so I didn't have two parents in my household. I just watched my mom raise us the best way she knew how, which I respect her to the moon and back because of that. Watching her be strong for four little children with four different personalities while maintaining a roof over our head making sure we make it to and from school, making sure that we were in the best schools. My dad wasn't around. I mean, I can't say that he was completely absent because he called from time to time, but we never really forced him to be there. We we never forced him to do anything he didn't want to do. I think that's what really made us strong. We didn't realize we were being strong. But now that we're older, that's strength. I felt like I was blessed with somebody else's spirit, somebody that's been here before. Because I knew how to be a parent. Because my mom was at, had to go to work early, make sure my little sisters had their hair did, make sure everybody had their breakfast. I stepped up to the plate at a super young age, but still stayed in my place. You don't find too many kids that has that type of talent. Back when I was 11 years old, I had came out here for the summer, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this is the first place I stayed at. It's my grandma's place. My Uncle Tommy was the landlord at the time. He passed away to RIP to my uncle and my grandma. Um, I remember a time, y'all, when my grandma's husband at the time, my grandma used to buy me spandex, the spandex shorts, the spandex spaghetti strap. And I'd be sitting on the porch, like, with my legs open, posted up, because we both was boys at the time. And he was like, why are you always sitting like a boy? Your legs always open. And I knew from that moment I wanted to go home, and I didn't want to come back. <laughs> but when my grandma would be at work, she used to work downtown at the Chattanooga Choo Choo, I would be over here playing with my friends. They stayed across the street, and of course it was a group of boys. We used to be back behind this house in the field on concrete playing football. They was rough as hell with me, but it was fun. So I remember days being out here and just feeling like a big little kid. I was cautious about the friends I made while I was only here for the summer. I just always felt super mature for my age as a youngin'. I want to show you guys the store down here that me and my grandma used to walk to. Miss Gladys used to stay right here and Mr. Walter. Miss Gladys was like over like 70 years old and Mr. Walter was her caregiver. I remember Granny used to always be over here with Mr. Walter. He used to take us to the, um, what was that called? To the Chattanooga Zoo. We went on Ruby Falls together. Mr. Walter used to give Granny all the rides, y'all. Hi guys, I'm Hannah's mom better known her real name is erica um i decided to call her hannah because she was born looking like an angry little old lady um she always had anger problems at birth we don't know why that's some aquarius shit i don't know i'm a pisces anyway but um I'm so glad to share this with you. I love you know my daughter to death, the whole family. She's very, very family oriented. Her and her siblings get along perfectly. Hannah keeps everybody above level. Like she's always been the rock for me. She's always been there for me when my mother passed her grandmother. Hannah was there for me. She gave me moral support. And the child was only eight years old. And believe it or not, she she knew what to do. She knew how to calm me. Without her, I don't know, you know, where we'd be as a family. So this is now Save-A-Lot. At first, it was the Sunnystown. Me and my grandma used to come food shopping over here all the time. 
I'm assuming Save a Lot bought it, but this is a big building, big parking lot. And as you can see, it's a long street that you gotta walk to get here. And it used to be fun times just walking with my granny, walking down the street and, you know, just vibing and having a good time. So this is where it all went down at. Originally, I'm born in Queens, New York. When I turned about three years old, my mom moved us to Pennsylvania. As Soon as I went back from the spending the summer with my grandma, I told my mom that I loved the South so much. And she picked up, got only a bag of clothes and our black cat that we had at the time. So yes, I am a cat lover for a reason. It runs in the family. And we hopped on the Greyhound, spent 20 hours on the Greyhound, and got off here in Maurice Paz Homes. This was a big ass project, y'all. It was split up into three sections. You had the front, you had the middle, and then you had the back. And the back is where the train tracks was at. It was fun. Um, I learned how to play basketball just so I could get out the house. So me and my brother used to be at the basketball court a lot. That's where I made all my friends. My little sisters used to always be in the house because my mom ain't want them out and about roaming. But me and my brother, we used to get out and go ball. The majority of the kids that I grew up with, like we all still close and we all got this healthy love and respect for each other. Like nobody thinks they're better than each other. And this was just super fun staying out here. I used to skip school because my high school was back here. I used to skip school and go home. My mom used to work a regular eight to five job. So when she would go to work, I'd sneak home when I know she left the house and be laying around all day. And she'd be thinking I went to class and I wasn't. Been laying around making videos. I used to um, set up the webcam on top of our computer and run the webcam from the computer to the TV and I would hit the record button on the VCR and I used to record myself dancing. One time when I got suspended from school, I made up a dance to Usher You Remind Me over our McDonald's uh, VHS tape. That jump was funny. My mom found it. She was like, why you, why you was out your room? You knew you was supposed to be on punishment, but she couldn't help but to laugh because I used to just, just always do funny stuff. So when I was younger, like I always pictured myself like either being a, a, a big time A-list actress or playing basketball in the WNBA. So I always pictured myself being an entertainer of some sort. I didn't know if it was gonna be basketball. Or I didn't know if it was gonna be acting. I just always pictured myself entertaining the crowd. They done tore our projects down. And I had so many memories growing up here that they didn't realize when they tore this place down, they was taking a lot of my childhood memories. This is my high school, y'all. Howard High School. What it was like growing up with her. <laughs> it was annoying sometimes, most of the time. Cause she's a little sister but she was always in shit arts she was always in plays she was always the funniest uh yeah destined for greatness y'all there go the arm um, park bus me and mommy used to take this bus everywhere when we used to go downtown we would get on that bus to come back to Pa's homes. I miss those days. No more. It's gone.
Should I tell everybody about how you used to pee in a bed and I used to beat you up out of your sleep because I was wet? Mm, I don't know. Maybe that'll make the video. I don't know. But I don't know. You're just funny. You've always been funny. You always listen to me. You never cared that I talk too much sometimes. And we always make each other laugh. I know if I ever have something I want to share, you're the person I can share it with. And that's special. I'm glad to have you in my life. I'm glad to see you doing all the things that make you happy. And I hope you continue to do that. And I love you. Before we get kicked off the premises for looking like hijackers. We will not. I used to have people used to get here first at the school. And we used to be waiting for our school buses. This used to be the little hangout spot. Me and my little crew. And they used to always make me dance because I used to be so silly, y'all. I used to come out here. That's back when the chicken head was out. We'd be like, hey. You used to go to school with me? Yeah, when I was little. Come on around. Okay. You want me to come with you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you. I'm um I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. We've had it's been a busy morning. I believe you. <laughs> she was scared to come in here and ask. I said, just go ask. <laughs> the worst you can get is a no. <laughs> So this is my old middle school, y'all. This is Chattanooga Center of Creative Arts. And this is a performance art school. Like you really have to audition to get it approved to even go here. So this is the auditorium area where I used to perform. I was in the Nutcracker. I was in the Cinderella musical, Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. I wonder if they still got, nah, they ain't gonna have my throwbacks. I haven't been here since like 2003, literally. This is where I would sit. We would chill out around here and kill time. Oh man, this is so many memories, y'all. Oh, they're decorating. There must be a play coming soon. That's the stage. I remember this stage. They must be about to have a performance. We literally would decorate the stage props. We would get everything together. We would set up our own performances before it was time to perform. And we used to have a packed house, like performing for everybody, family member, every student in the school. We used to perform for uh, talent shows. I remember these days, I miss this area. This is a big school. This school is for um, it starts from the sixth grade up into the 12th grade. So it's middle school and high school together. That's why I always felt like I was a little bit grown for my age because I felt like I've been living amongst adults and hanging with adults since I was little because everything I did included somebody that was older. Like I was hanging with seniors in the seventh grade. Who you know in the seventh grade hanging with seniors? They used to play around with me all the time, throw me in the garbage cans and stuff. Like, it was just a big family in here. And I'm still cool with those same people to this day. That's crazy. I'm just happy 
to be here. I feel like I'm at home. I'm in my element. Like, it's been so many years, almost 20 years, and I'm back in a place where I started being able to entertain for large crowds. And I wasn't as shy back then as I am now. Now I'd be like, oh, no, somebody going to, are they going to laugh? Like, I used to think, now I think twice about if it's because I'm older, I'll be thinking I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings. Back then, I didn't care. I used to just do whatever for a laugh. And, of course, I got ADHD. So I used to have to take one half of my Adderall at breakfast time. And then I used to have to go to the office to get my second half. I stayed at in-school suspension, all because I was a class clown and I liked to perform. And this is where it all started. This is where I was getting my feet wet. Actually, I got my feet wet back when I was a little kid. Like, I was super small, making my mom's friends laugh. Like, I remember one time we were sitting out on the porch with my mom and her friend one day. It was back when we stayed in Pennsylvania, so I had to be at least, like, eight or nine. And I put my shoes on the wrong feet. And I was like, look, Mommy, this is how your friend stands. Look, she got two left legs. And they were rolling. Like, you would have thought Chris Rockner made a joke. Like, they was laughing. Like, from that point forward, I was like, okay, yeah, I like entertaining people. In the second grade, I remember I was sitting in the class. My teacher was giving a, sp a speech. And she was talking for, like, ten minutes straight, y'all. And I got ADHD. This is the second grade. I was in the second grade. So after she got done talking, I got up. Let's give it up for Ricky Lake. Got put right out of the classroom. I had to go sit in the hallway. She called my mom. My mom trying not to laugh. Like, it was so funny. I've been entertaining since I was little. So when we got here, it was only a given that my mom put me in a performing art school where I could actually use my talent for good. And that was just crazy, like, how I always had that talent of entertaining and making people laugh. Oh, we love her, and I want you to know I wouldn't trade her for the world. And don't you guys ever think Hannah does shit out of spite or this is phony about her. She's been like that. Hannah says she loves you. She really do. She really do. She loves strong. She loves from the heart. And that's nothing no one can take from her. She loves you. She's going to always love you. And again, mom love you. Just stop doing dumb ass shit sometime. I love you. Mwah. So there you have it, y'all. That's life growing up as Erica Bowens. Even though I'm on this super long journey still of finding myself, I just had to let y'all know where it all started, how it started, and where it's heading. Thanks for tuning in. Gotta go.